everyone, Halloween is coming, and for my first Halloween special makeover, I decided to take my own repaint of Rebecca's steam doll. I've already mentioned this doll before when I explained why I don't root curled wig hair anymore. Look, these two dolls have exactly the same type of hair, but the blue one has a pretty curly wig. And the mint one is rerouted and it looks like it comes out of some drying machine. So let's make something special. Halloween is time to experiment with styles and looks. And today I will create an absolutely new kind of doll. I've never worked in this style before and who knows, maybe it will suddenly become my best doll makeover. But first I need to remove everything I've done here before. I want to make her mouth a little bit open, you will see later why. And for this I will use a Dremel rotary tool. Then I seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and contour just the bottom part of her face. I don't touch her eyes, nose and forehead. Then I draw her lips with watercolor pencils and then I cover them with acrylic paint. This time I don't need to create subtones and difficult shadows, I need bold and very bright colors. And then the real fun begins. I take tacky glue and start applying rhinestones to the doll's face. You can see I use a special wax pencil to pick up the crystals. It costs almost nothing, I think I paid about 50 cents for two of them, but this is an absolute unmissable tool if you are going to work with big amounts of crystals. And today I'm going to use a lot of them. So like this I went around her eyes and now I'm going to attach red crystals to these bubbles she has on her forehead.
combining different kinds of rhinestones, I complete her crystal mask. I'm not actually 100% sure if this is a Halloween look. It's probably more Carnival in Venice or Lady Gaga on holidays. But on the other hand, who said you must look like a rotten potato Halloween party? You could perfectly look like a diamond queen. Let's still add some bigger crystals to her forehead and the mask is almost ready. There still will come some more details later, but for now I'm ready to start working on her body. And here immediately comes an 18 plus moment. Oops, and another 18 plus moment. Yeah, but there is nothing to do. First, I need to cover with crystals everything that must be covered even on Halloween. It looks already like some pretty crystal bikini. And now I attach dark rhinestones following the lines that already exist on her body. Now I take tiny glass balls that are normally used for nail design. They're also called caviar balls. 
and fill in the space between the dark lights. In the end, you get kind of a glass surface. And now I still will add some more colorful rhinestones to it. glue the chain to her face and the ends of the chain I will fix to her ears with standard monster high earrings. And now I repeat all the steps on the back of her body. I can tell you honestly, I have never glued crystals to anyone's butt before. Now I attach crystals to her arms as well to make some sort of gloves. And finally the last crystal goes straight into her mouth. That's why I wanted to open it a little bit more wide with the rotary tool. And now I take the doll's boots, a bunch of feathers and spray it all with silver paint together with her hair. And now I will glue this silver feather to her forehead and decorate it with crystals. I have also made a tail for her using the same feathers, but my camera didn't film this moment because the battery was out, so unfortunately you can see it just on the end result pictures. I still cover her lips with glossy varnish and my diamond queen is ready! 
I really can't wait to hear your opinion about this face-up because this is something completely new for me. But I can tell you that I had extremely lot of fun working on her. Maybe even more than usually because in this makeover I didn't have any single routine step. Everything was new and based just on my fantasy. So please put your like if you enjoy this kind of doll makeover. And subscribe of course if you are not with us yet. And this is not my only doll repaint for Halloween. I'm already working on another one for the next week Friday. Bye!